Welcome to another Doom mod. Uh, this one is Plasma Factory. It's by The Lock again, and Penny's here as well. Yep, you're, you're munching the rest of this video. Yeah, uh, her bowl of Cheetos is also here. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how this goes. Already I'm in trouble because there's a big uh, arch vial right in front of me. So I suppose I'm going to have to sneak around out of his way. Uh, zombies. zombies, that's right. Let's see what we can do. Just staying out of his way. It's often difficult to communicate uh, when you're not supposed to uh, get rid of an enemy immediately, but uh, I think this really is clear. This is really as, as clear as you can make it. Uh, all right. Oh, that skeleton. Yeah, he's really dangerous because he can set me on fire as if he sees me. There, I have to get out of his way before it hurts me. Really scary. Yeah. All right. Let's quit getting up here. Oh, I need to get the I need to get the shotgun first, so I've got a fighting chance. Yeah. This map is so bad. Yeah. All right. We're out of the first room. Let's have a save for that. Whoa! Wow. Hey. Zombies. A lot of zombies. People just like zombies. Yeah, everything's got zombies in it, eh? Ow. Okay, let's do this again. I did a little thank you. I'm on here. I just uh, drew him so that uh, he had scars when he was low in health. Well, it's hard to get past this because of all the hit scanners, which can instantly hit you. Where are the floating tomatoes? I don't know. We'll see if there are any of them this time. People call these ones pinkies. Like my pinky finger? Like your pinky finger. Except it's much more meaty and dangerous. Oh no, there's another pinky! Yeah. Am I going to have any health? There's a bit of health there. Lots of scars. Oh, there's another one. There's He's okay. Oh, here's a tomato for you. Ah, tomatoes! Oh, no. Th this looks really difficult. There's a lot of high-level monsters around here. Uh, let's see what I can do, though. Oh, no, there's a pinky! Oh, pinky! Sorry. That's okay. He can't hurt me from a distance. Let's see. There's a, a Ragnatron, which is a big scars, metal scars. spider. Why are there scars out of your mouth? Ow. You have three health. Yeah, it's not a lot. <laughs> oh, that, that Ragnatron went down faster than I imagined. I heard. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Well done. Why do you still have three health? Here we go, here we go. I thought that there are some shotgunners right there. All right. Okay. How do we get more health? We can pick up a health kit. There's one, but it's a really small one. So it's it's great that you use the arch vial again there, because this is the same as the starting room. He's just stalking around in there, and he can have a line of sight to me here. Is this a switch? No, it isn't. What did the switches look like? Well, I thought I thought that might be a switch, because. Uh, I thought I might be able to get a secret and maybe get some more health. Maybe I can. Oh, oh that's a very hard one to avoid. There's not a lot of cover here. Oh. What should we call the skeletons? I don't know. What do you What do you like to Whiteys? call them? Whiteys. Whiteys. Hmm. Maybe not. I want to call them whiteys. All right. You already used that. Yeah, it's useful. All right, we've been fighting a bit from a distance. Because this is not a good set of weapons to have against the Archfile. You really want to have something a bit stronger. Uh oh! Tomato! He was behind me! All right. Well, oh, I just got out of his way. Oh. 
I just find really hard to beat. Because there's a lot of tough monsters, and uh, the layout of the level is quite good for them, because there's nothing for me to hide behind here if that skeleton decides to shoot fire at me. Uh, the, the tomato's just uh, given up, gone home. Is that a switch or no, it's just a sort of being used as a sort of trim on the stairs. I haven't used that texture. I haven't seen that texture being used that way before. Wow, look at that skeleton. What is he doing? He's using his fire magic. There we go. Alright. He can't set me on fire anymore. Uh, that looks like the way out, but I need a way to get to it. You could jump up there. Oh, uh, no jumping in Doom. Why? I mean, sometimes there's jumping, if, if authors decide to allow it. But they made the game at first without jumping in it. Why? I don't know. Maybe he's got no knees. <laughs> <laughs> People used to joke that uh, he must be using a rocket powered wheelchair because he can run really fast but he can't jump. It looks like he's walking. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's jumping. Ow! It looks like he's to remember, honestly. I don't think I use jumping in my maps. Not all that often, anyway. Oh, what was that? Oh! Oh! This is an interesting little concept. The the pools give me invulnerability. Okay, um, Usually they turn. Can you walk on it for a minute? Yeah, hold on. That does nothing. That gives me invisibility. This is interesting. I wish I'd discovered this a bit earlier. Okay, no, the green ones. Can you walk on the green ones? I will, yeah. For a minute. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, let's get back to the green ones. That was useful. Okay, um, okay, go. Why does he look like he's evil in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how I drew him. All right, so I'm invulnerable now. No monsters can't get you. Yeah, that's Looks right. Looks like he's evil. It does. Why is that? That's, uh, oh, that looks like a mistake there, that the same texture's used. But uh, I'm not invulnerable on it. Or maybe maybe it's not. What colour's that? Brown. Yeah, that's brown. What colour's this? Green. Yeah, you see, I'm so glad you're here, Penny. Whoops. Now, was that, was that eye texture there to trick me into trying to shoot it through the bars and uh, therefore uh, initiate the in bamboosh? One uh, more Cheeto! One more Cheeto! Ten oh. helmets! Okay, there's the can of iron brew, that's the yellow key. And I think I remember a yellow door all the way back here. Evil. Mm -hmm. Evil. Can I can I go down here? Evil. 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 Mm -hmm. Evil. This is such an interesting idea. Evil. Evil. Mm -hmm. Evil. I know you said. Evil. Okay, I'm back. It's such an interesting idea, but uh, it, it was... I only stepped onto this by mistake, because usually you would want to stay away from that. I wonder if there's a way to force the player through into a, into a situation, like, like have a sinking platform somewhere where you're forced to go into it, and then you discover that this stuff is actually good. 
Or alternatively, use a different texture for it, uh, rather than something that's usually harmful. No evil. No evil. There are two of them in there, now. How would you spell it? E V I L. That's right. You'll be able to write that out of school now. They'll they'll have to call in an exorcist. E V I L. E V I L. Might have more luck with the uh, chain gun. <laughs> That's one gun. Are you okay? Yeah. Alright. Why is there so much boo? Benny, Benny has spotted some of my uh, fantasy artwork on the walls. It is a, it's a bit bare-chested, all right. All right, we've got a yellow door now. Can I see it? Oh wow! Whoa! Wow! Oh dear, those are big. What is he called? A big? He's called a cyber demon. Uh, How am I supposed to get up there? Tomato. Oh. Though I've got, I've got, I've, I've got a little bit of invulnerability here. Oh, I couldn't quite make it. This is, but this is such a clever idea. I'm going the wrong way. Why is really clever? Well, you've got to step on the places where you're invulnerable. And that squishes evil. them. You're evil! Evil, evil! Yeah. Evil. Oh, unfortunately, I missed that one, so he's going to remain a problem. I wonder if it's going to go up again. Evil! Evil! Uh -huh. Evil. He's evil. Yeah. Your rabbit's evil. Come on! What is that? You. Around the Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a attractive sort of spinal decoration that they have in hell. Oh, All right, so he didn't get no. caught by the squasher, so I've got to. Whoa! That was that was close. Do Come on. Oh, Here we go. I'm okay. I pulled the switch. Ah, there we go. There we go. Wow. Aha, okay, so then that rises, and then you know, there's one monster left, which is the Cyber Demon, but we have reached the end of that level. Oh, that is that is such an interesting idea. Um, yeah, it just shows you all the enemies at the end. But that's such an interesting idea, using the different fluids to give different properties to the player. I would, I would possibly use a different texture from one that's normally harmful, because it looks like you want to avoid it. Can I see the rest of the Yeah. Oh, that one guy. He's called Shotgun Guy. That's called Heavy Weapon, dude. <laughs> I don't know if they're dying, they are dying. Well, it just shows you the dying animations when you skip past them. That's Imp. Demon. But everyone calls it Pinky. Pinky. That was Lost Soul. That's Kaka Demon, the tomato. Hell Knight. Baron of Hell. It's the same one with a different colour. Ah, Rachnatron. Boom. Pain Elemental. Let's call it a tomato too. That's a tomato as well. What colour is it? It's brown. Let's call it a poopy tomato. Let's do that. Revenant. That yeah, that's a kind of karate skeleton. Mancubus. Well, let's see. He, he sort of melts. Archvile. Oh, 
We know that guy. What does he look like when he dies? He melts. <laughs> the spider mastermind. Yes, you do like. Ah! And the cyber demon. Can I see what he looks like when he dies? Yeah, he explodes and then his boots are left. Wow. And that's us. Can you see what it looks like for me, Doc? Ah! That's it. All oh, right, but for the concept for the map, I'd love to see that uh, fleshed out more into some kind of uh, puzzle scenarios. I think that uh, the, the approach to the Cyber Demons was really interesting, but you could go too fast, and uh, that's often a problem with Doom, actually, that the player is so fast, you can often skip these elaborate setups. Ooh. But yeah, I would, love to, I would love to see more of that idea. Pause and... And...